loves my baby. Although when Hampson sings, every baby loves his body. There we are. There we are. Yes, first. I'll just drop my thinking project. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you, yes. It's broken. It is broken. No, 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 it's, it's different, but it's so well. Yes, um, of course, but this is one of the songs which is actually reputed to be played. And who was the, uh, who was the trumpet, the, the, right from your neck of the woods? Wallace Hartley. Wallace Hartley, of course. Oh, the banjo player. Was there a banjo? Oh, violin. Oh, violin, same thing. <laughs> and yes. <laughs> they would have had a banjo on the Titanic. Well, I don't see why not. <laughs> They would have definitely had a banjo in yeah. the wouldn't they? Yeah. Mm. Indeed, yes. Mm. Down for its banjo. <laughs> 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 yeah, I listened to it right now. It's originally from Colne. From Colne? Yeah. Well, they say rather, don't they? From the posher area, isn't it? Yes. Ah, yes, indeed. And so the song is called Alexander's React Time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and of uh, course, it goes rather after this one. And then once again, if you're familiar with it, and hopefully this afternoon will go down equally well. That's the joke, that's the joke, that's the joke. It's a terrible joke, isn't it? Uh, but it's very good at the labour building at that time. Yeah, it's hilarious to play. Mind you, they never booked us back, did they? Mind you, we never get booked back, do we? Yeah. 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 Right, last day, Jack. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, this next song now is about a very famous, large example of an ornithological study. <laughs> uh, yes, I shall explain. <laughs> yes, then I get. I have to explain it first, otherwise nobody ever laughs. You see, <laughs> one of those gags doesn't really stand up when it's under close scrutiny. Yes. Um, all about a very it's of, a, of a large ornithological subject, you might say. It also also happens to be the name of the composer of this next song. So as I said, the song is called Ain't Misbehaving, and as I said, the name is of a large ornithological subject. Of course, I'm referring to Fat Swallow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of the most underrated jokes in jazz. <laughs> yeah. And it's all my own work, you know. <laughs> that's that's it, yes. You've never heard that before, have you? No, I've never heard that again. No. <laughs> that's not the, um, that's not a unique reaction, actually. <laughs> Say that now, you'll be telling you that. That's true. Never. I thought it was my own work. <laughs> Have you? Uh, have you copied it? Are you still? I like, never did! I say plagiarism there. Well, plainly, plainly, I was inspired by the same inspiration that inspired the original festival. Excuse You stole it. You copied it. Oh, stop it, stop it. No. No. Well, all I can say is you've ruined it for me now. <laughs> All I can say is your jealousy has taken an ugly form. <laughs> <laughs> and I shall rise above it, see, to yours as well. <laughs> My kind indeed. And who's heard of him now? Have you quite oh, finished? Precisely. <laughs> what time? Have you quite finished? I like your glasses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 199 old. Uh, yeah, yes, you see. <laughs> Are they your jazz glasses? I can't see with them. Ah, in that case. I can't see with them. I can't see what? I can't see a bloody thing. I don't know where you are. Who said that? What are we doing now?
somebody in Need I do? Hug do I need hug? Do I do? I oh, honey Need I do? I'm glad that I'm the one who found ah, That's why I'm always hanging around ah, Do I love
particular venture and composition does seem to be at odds with the origins of this particular story. But nevertheless, we shall gloss over a mere, a mere uh, trifle such as the, uh, the spelling. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's gone very quiet. I'm feeling suddenly very exposed and necessarily to justify myself here. Yes. This next song named after a very famous cafe, possibly in America. America. Yes. One of those root aside cafes, although in those days, of course, they weren't called cafes. And of course, this leads us very nicely on to what you shall be doing very shortly. Of course, the song named after the very famous roadside cafe, Diner. <laughs> I'd hope for more, to be honest. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Harold. Happy birthday. Oh, my God. 